So how will you plot the graph of apparent depth versus real depth? We have a relation connecting the apparent depth and real depth. We have apparent depth, apparent depth is equal to real depth divided by real depth divided by the refractive index of the liquid. Suppose we have a beaker and the beaker contains liquid up to the height the height t we call this as the real depth this is the real depth suppose we have we have a coin at the bottom of the liquid or, or at the bottom of the beaker and we see this coin slightly raised so this is the apparent position this one is the apparent position of the coin and this one is the real position of the coin so the distance from the surface of the liquid to the apparent position is called the apparent depth or we can call that as d d so we have apparent depth is equal to real depth t divided by mu you can write this as d is equal to d is equal to 1 by mu into t you know this one is a linear relation this, is, this relation is of the form y is equal to some kind of k, uh, a proportionality constant x. So the plot of this graph, so the plot will be a straight line. You have, you have x, x axis as, x axis as t, the real depth t, and y axis as the apparent depth, small letter d, and you have you have a straight line. See, you can see that if, if t is equal to 0, d is also 0. Which means if the real depth is uh, substituting 0 here, you will get d, d as 0. So, so or the graph passes through the origin definitely. And it will be a straight line. See, this is the graph. This is the graph. It will be a straight line. And how will you find the slope? So this is the plot of apparent, apparent. But this is the plot of um, apparent depth versus real depth. So how will you find the slope? And so what is the significance of slope? Slope is definitely the difference in the y-axis divided by difference in the x-axis. So consider a triangle here. This is the graph of d is equal to 1 by mu times t. d equal to 1 by mu times t. And this is, this is your d and this is your t. The x-axis represents the real position and y-axis represents the uh, apparent position. So this, this one is slope. Uh, this is the slope and consider this angle as theta you have tan theta is equal to d divided by t so what is d by t from this equation you have d by t is equal to 1 by mu so the slope slope of the graph gives the reciprocal of the refractive index that's the significance of the graph here okay